all of the above, um, you have different uh, cultures, and some people have difficulty fitting into different cultures. Uh, you have regulatory preferences, for instance, um, and some regulators will prefer um, homegrown or people within the same region, but that is breaking up quickly, particularly as Africa is basically converting itself into a free trade, you know, one, one, one zone, if you get the point I'm trying to make. And of yeah. course, you know, um, the capability to bring all of these people together, people with different cultures, and to harmonize all of them and put them as one institution. Now, when Citibank did this across the world, they succeeded. They came here, they were in Nigeria, all right, or they are in Nigeria, they are in South Africa, etc. So we, we as Africans have to start thinking about life a bit differently. What have these guys done and how do we learn from it? What did Santander do? All right, what did Citibank do? I mean, and then come home and tell ourselves, let's create an African champion, all right, that is present in the continent and that is present outside of the continent and is a world-renowned institution. So what we're doing is this. We're bringing the best of talent across the continent. And by the way, we're all the same people. We may have certain cultural differences, but quite frankly, when we stay together and go to school together, we are the same people. So we have created a world-class training school that brings all access people within the access world together and train cohorts. Once this happens, first of all, there are access people, before you say I'm from Kenya, or before you say I'm from South Africa, or Nigeria, if you get the point I'm trying to make. So that is where the real power comes from, getting people to share the same culture, the same values, the same beliefs, and the same aspirations.